In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a couple of simple techniques for using the gradient tool. In this case, to create some graphics rather than in photography, but the same techniques can be applied to photography, and I will do so in another video. To begin with, I'm going to create a text layer, then I'm going to create a small graphic, and use the gradient tool on those uh, items to create a reflection, uh, well, a reflection and uh, some highlights on the graphic. So, let me begin. I'm going to begin here by selecting my text tool and then typing in some text for my first text layer. And Global Ink will be the name of my fake corporation here. Just move that over a touch so that it's all on the screen. There we go. And I'll hit enter to finalize the layer. Now I'm going to duplicate that layer by pressing Control J. Now you can see there is a copy of that layer over here in the Layers palette. What I'm going to do with that is use the Transform Flip Vertical command. And now you can see it is flipped over on top of itself. I'm going to select the Move tool and also hold down the Shift key so it stays aligned as I move it and drag it down to the place where a reflection should be. From there, I'll go over to that text layer and select the opacity slider here and bring that down to about 25%. So, at this point, we've got the original text layer, the flipped over layer that is now the reflection, and as you can see, uh, it's not quite as bright as the top one because it's a reflection in glass. To complete the effect of this reflection, I'm going to create a layer mask on this reflection layer. And on that mask, I will use the first gradient. I'm selecting my gradient tool, resetting the colors here so that it goes from black to white. And I'm selecting the mask rather than the layer itself. So with the mask selected, I'm going to create the gradient by clicking and dragging from this point. It's now clicked and dragging up towards the original layer. If I hold down the shift key while I do that, it makes the uh, effect go vertical rather than sort of skewed. And there you can see the effect. The black area masks what's below it. So it masks out that top um, part of the reflection here, bottom part of the reflection. And it creates that effect of the reflection disappearing as it gets closer to the viewer. I could probably stop there, but I think I'd like to add a little bit more shading to this original text layer. And I will do that by using the gradient tool again. First, I'm going to create a new layer above my original text layer. And then I'm going to control click on this text layer, the original text layer. And that selects all of this text so that when I come up to the new layer and create a layer mask, the layer mask is actually formed in the shape of this text so that when I make any changes on this layer, only the text will now be affected because of that layer mask. So now I'm going to make sure that my new layer is selected, 
and come over and grab my gradient tool. And you can see that it is still set from black to white. I will come down to the base of this text, click and hold down the shift key, and drag towards the top. Now, that looks pretty weird because now instead of being red, it goes just from black to white. But to correct that, <clears throat> I'm going to change the layer type from normal to multiply. And then I'm going to change the opacity of this layer down to about 20%. Yeah, that looks okay. Maybe a little bit more than that, actually. Yeah, I like it around 25%. Okay. And now, there is shading at the bottom of the letters, and it gets lighter towards the top. The final step in this little project is going to be creating a sphere on the left side of the text here sort of like a little logo to tie in with the global uh, effect here. So I'm going to begin by creating a new layer up above these other layers in my layer palette. And then I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool to make a circle. I'm going to do that simply by dragging with the elliptical marquee tool, but I'm going to hold down the shift key at the same time to keep that uh, a perfect circle rather than an oval. That looks about right to me. And then <clears throat> I'm going to select the gradient tool. But rather than using my standard gradient, which uh, goes just vertical or, or horizontal, I'm going to use the circular gradient tool and I'm going to make sure that the gradient goes from white to black although you can use whatever colors you want in this case I would prefer it to go from light to dark and I'm going to pick a spot on my uh, circle here that I would like to be the highlight and right about there would be fine. And then I'm just going to drag. You can see that this creates uh, a nice highlight right on the sphere, which gives it a more spherical appearance rather than just a plain circle. And now just to make sure that this sphere looks like it's on the same uh, glass table as the text. I'm going to deselect that uh, sphere by pressing Control D, and then I'm going to move it up just a hair so that it's a little bit closer to the same level as the text. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the sphere as I did for the text. I'm going to click Control J to duplicate it, Control T to bring up my transform marquee here, flip vertical, enter, then shift drag down, 